Hey, millionaire. Have you ever thought of using a lucky talisman to help you win the lottery? If you dig into the stories behind people winning big, you'll probably find many secret lucky items. But did you know it's not only things that can be lucky? Some types of animals are supposed to bring luck too. In this video, we'll be counting down the 12 luckiest animals and let you in on exactly why they're linked to money and prosperity. You never know, one of them might just help you win the jackpot. So keep an eye out for your new lucky charm. Keep watching to the end if you want to see the most powerfully lucky animals. Now, let's dive in. Number 12. Bats In Europe and America, bats are usually associated with vampires. If there's one thing everyone agrees on, it's that vampires definitely aren't lucky. The last thing you need is one of them flying through your bedroom window. But China has a very different view of these creatures of the night. Over there, these creatures are so lucky that the Chinese word for bat is pronounced the same way as the word for good fortune. You'll see a lot of bats in Chinese art, dating all the way back to around 1046 BCE. That's a long time to maintain your status as a lucky animal. Number 11. Bears Bears are seriously powerful animals, so it's not surprising that ancient cultures revered them differently. You'll find a lot of bears in the folklore of ancient cultures that had close contact with these huge animals. It was believed that bears had strong supernatural powers that they used for good. Some Native American cultures believed bears had healing powers because they'd be seen winning fights after being seriously injured. They even wore necklaces made from bear claws for luck and power. Meanwhile, over in Siberia, they believed the bear was an incarnation of their god. And you don't get luckier than that. Number 10. Scarab Beetle you won't find a more classic lucky charm than the scarab beetle. This shiny type of dung beetle was revered in ancient Egypt for literally thousands of years. These lucky beetles were thought to bring eternal life and protection against evil. They even became symbolic of one of their sun gods. They must have been pretty powerful because millions of scarab amulets were created out of all sorts of materials. If that weren't enough, they were also carved into reliefs, used as seals, and crafted into beads. Special scarab amulets have even been found wrapped under the bandages of mummies. Number 9. Bulls Bulls don't seem very remarkable these days. You can find them just about anywhere. But did you know they've been a powerful symbol of luck since prehistoric times? Most ancient cultures around the world saw bulls as good omens, or even worshipped them as sacred, all the way from China and India through to ancient Greece and Egypt. The bull symbolizes good health and wealth, but it's also all about recapping the benefits of hard work. White bulls are even more important. Ancient Druid cultures would sacrifice white bulls for their very important ritual of oak and mistletoe. It is still common practice in Zulu culture to give all white cows to the king. Are you looking for a prettier animal totem than beetles and bats? Keep watching. We definitely have an animal you'll love. Number 8. Deer these days, the most famous deer we have are the ones that pull Santa's sleigh. But deer are another animal that pops up in the folklore of ancient people worldwide. The pagans in ancient England even had shrines to a deer god. These gentle animals are associated with luck all over the world, but it's in China that you'll find their strongest link to money, because the Chinese word for deer and for income is pronounced the same way. That sounds like the perfect animal lucky charm if you're trying to win the lottery. Number 7. Elephants You'll never find a more powerful animal than the elephant. In India, they became symbolic of wealth for a good reason. Back in ancient India, elephants became a status symbol. Only the wealthiest families could afford to own these gigantic animals. They would cover them in sparkling gold and jewels and beautifully crafted seats for their riders. When the Romans saw this practice, they quickly got in on the action as well and started using elephants as one more symbol of their wealth and power. It's no surprise that they became associated with wealth when they were always being paraded around with the wealthiest people in the country on their backs. Number 6. Frogs You've heard the story of the girl who kisses a frog, right? Her kiss breaks the spell, and the lowly frog transforms back into a prince. He, of course, marries the girl, and she gets to live in his palace and spends all his royal money. If you're looking for a link between frogs and money, that's a pretty strong story, but it sure didn't start there. People have linked frogs to wealth for centuries. It's no doubt, because frogs started hopping around when it rains, so cultures that relied on rare rainfall for their crops to grow began associating the frogs with prosperity. Number 5. Goldfish 
gold is probably the ultimate symbol of wealth, so anything that happens to be a golden color is automatically going to be linked to money. Enter the goldfish. Of course, the ancient Greeks and Egyptians are in on this again. Egyptians would even bring the shiny little creatures into their homes to harness their powers. And if that wasn't enough, goldfish are also one of just eight sacred symbols of Buddha, representing abundance. And yet again, China links these little guys to money in their language. The word for fish is pronounced the same as the word for abundance. It's no wonder everyone still keeps them as pets. Number 4. Horses Horses are so closely linked to human civilization, it's no surprise that they become lucky animals. They've helped us master agriculture, bringing wealth and prosperity. They were essential for long journeys in the days before trains, and they even helped us win wars to maintain or grow the wealth of powerful countries. But you don't need a whole horse to bring you luck, just one of their shoes is enough. If you're wondering why horseshoes are so lucky, there are a couple of reasons. Iron used to be considered magical and able to ward off evil spirits. And horseshoes are attached with seven holes, which we all know is a lucky number, hanging up to form a U-shape and, legend has it, it'll collect luck like a cup. Number 3. Lizards You'd never guess that lizards would be much good for anything, but they've been seen as seriously lucky animals for thousands of years. Apparently, their ability to shed their skin or regrow their tails became symbolic of renewal. In ancient Egypt, lizards were so important that their hieroglyph also meant plentiful or abundant. You can still get lizard pennants to bring luck today. If you ever see a lizard symbol on a home or stable, it's probably because people believe that they protected humans and animals from snakes. But beware, they don't only bring good luck, killing a lizard or gecko is thought to bring seriously bad luck into your life. Are we still missing your lucky animal? Let us know which animal has brought money into your life in the comments. Number 2. Pigs These days, people usually think of pigs as dirty animals, but we don't always dislike these farmland staples. In Irish folklore, they became associated with wealth because of a tale of a farmer who had a herd of pigs that would magically regenerate, ensuring endless wealth. Go over to China and they'll agree with the Irish view of pigs as lucky. Chinese lore sees pigs as bringers of good luck in business dealings, so next time you see one of these lucky animals, don't look down on them. You'll never know just how much money they can bring into your life. And finally, the most powerful and luckiest animal out there. Number 1. Rabbits Anyone on Twitter will know that rabbits are still associated with luck today. Modern myths suggest that your first words at the start of a new month should be rabbit rabbit if you want the month to bring you luck. Nobody really knows why, but it might be linked to the infamous lucky rabbit's foot. Apparently, Franklin D. Roosevelt made sure to always carry a rabbit's foot in his pocket, and let's face it, he was pretty successful. But long before that, ancient European cultures also associated rabbits with luck, probably because they were the first sign of the abundance of spring after a harsh winter. And it's this link to seasonal feasting that probably gave rise to the Easter Bunny as well. So even if rabbits don't bring you luck in money, they'll bring you chocolate. And that's the next best thing. 